Welcome back, Chapters here with uh, another episode of Final Fantasy 3 Randomizer and hopefully this is the final one. Well, come what may, it will be the final one, regardless of whatever we happens. Uh, so this is the final dungeon, another Masunmune, nice. Now the issue with this dungeon is enemies are significantly more powerful. <laughs> And I can't run away from things easily. So, we'll see if we even get to the final boss. I had a short run in this, and uh, when you have enemies that are regularly hitting for a thousand, and you've only got like two thousand, these things are weak compared to other things in this dungeon. So, I do not think that my party is going to be capable of taking out the final boss, uh, not without a crap ton of level grinding, which I'm not super keen to do. So most of the enemies in here are, or at least they feel like, are uh, reskins of old bosses. This is definitely a reskin of an old boss. Gogomori, that was definitely a Medusa at one point in the game. Uh, I've also switched up Kefka from being the Karateka with the harp. So he's now a conjurer wielding, dual wielding Excaliburs, I believe. So he can pick, uh, pack as much of a punch. Uh, Kudra is still the best healer that I have, and his best healing spell was Cure 2. So I don't even have Cures 3 and 4 or Revival spells to be able to deal with the final boss, which is going to make things a bit more interesting. I do have a crap ton of Elixirs. Uh, but, yeah, that's just single target healing. I don't have any way of dealing with AoE healing. And, unfortunately, the final boss absolutely loves to spam AoE moves. Or it has some very nasty ones. So, oof, and back attacks are really, really bad. These are reskins of a final, uh, uh, an early game enemy. Okay, Ro... Oh, no, probably Ro... Yep. Uh, you can just stay there. And I have to remember to put them into the correct rows. Afterwards, the drain spell on these guys is horrendously powerful. And I have, like, almost no defense on any of my characters. And he's it. Great. Um... Yeah, so I can't use the life spell. Um... I have five Phoenix Downs. So, that is just absolutely horrendous how much worse the bump up in enemy difficulty is between this dungeon and the previous dungeon. And just like other previous dungeons as well. I, I suppose if you're playing this casually, you wouldn't have the issue that I currently have, which is not having armor. Ouch. I, I'm literally still rocking a leather helmet on Sephiroth. Uh, damn it. Two people dead. Well, that's um, going to end well. So, uh, yes, I do have the two options of just grinding an absolute crap ton and leveling up my guys to, like, level way higher. Um, I can't even... I, I'm assuming that the... Well, I'm just hoping that the... I can't even access the, um... What's it? The section where there's the... Additional jobs. And hope that one of them... <laughs> happens to have... Um... A job that A has MP and B has magic. Like, that's kind of what's, um been the issue is like any jobs that haven't been able to learn spells haven't had the magics oh hello you red dragon are uh, crap forgot to roll everyone uh you red dragon are what can drop the onion knight equipment uh nope and Onion Knight would be nice, but your drop is going to be different. So this is a rare enemy. So that one automatically puts you on critical HP. 
which is not great. It'll probably follow up with a very nasty AoE attack or something like that. That didn't do much damage. Okay, at least I got a heal off. See, I'm only healing with my magic for about like 800. When things are dealing a thousand plus on a hit, is, uh, that's not, not great. So I'm pretty sure uh, Cooch's magic stat is uh, currently being based off the Anya Knight, and that is trash tier. Because Anya Knights are not supposed to be able to use magic. Well, certainly his HP uh, growth stat is. Oh, as long as this thing keeps using Whirlwind, I should be okay. But man, it is very defensive. And these are just the regular all enemies. These aren't even the final boss. The final boss is like absolutely bonkers crazy. And that was why I was really, really hoping to have a job that would be able to equip the onion equipment because the onion equipment is just horrendously broken. Like a solo onion knight will solo the final boss on its own. Even if the rest of the party is completely dead, I, and that's a party with a max level healer and max level uh, two max level damage dealers and a black mage thrown in for a good measure. But so far, this dude's attacks are actually a okay. As long as he doesn't spring something nasty, which I am still expecting him to spring. Okay, he can't use wall. So he wasted a turn there, that's okay. It's a nice thousand hit there. Uh, I don't know how rare these ones are, but I know that they are a rare spawn. And essentially our mini boss level of difficulty. So nice, good eight hits. Blizzard, there's the AoE that instantly wiped out my healer. Okay, hmm. That's um, not great. I think I do remember casually playing through this dungeon involved an awful lot of teleporting out. Okay, the dragon is defeated. Hooray. So much gill. So much XP. Cloth armor! That's not the same as Onion Knight. Okay, well, uh, essentially this dungeon run is going to be however long my Phoenix Downs last for. And that's realistically going to be the uh, issue here. The elixirs are, not, are, are going to be fine. I am going to run out of Phoenix Downs before I run out of elixirs. Oh, three of these things. Uh, so these things can petrify. And I have one golden needle in my inventory and no other way of petrify dealing with petrification. So, oh, death. Okay, well, there's another Phoenix Down gone. So yeah, this dungeon is, I think, going to kill the run. It's like, yes, I can just go and grind, but, uh, and yes, I am close to the end, but I just do not feel like doing a grind in this old game. I have done it before, and just like the absolute difficulty spike, plus the fact that I can't get better, oh, I can't really, I don't think I can find a better helmet or for my guys or just in general better equipment like that's really what is hampering me is just having access to the better equipment whole bunch of gill and xps but hey at least i can level up easily two phoenix downs Okay, well, I don't know why I uh, have my sprite switched. Oh, I must have hit, um, whoopsies. Must have hit something. 
Yeah, that's what I hit. I hit the equivalent of the select button. Must have bumped. Oh god, staying. No. No. Ice 3. Oh my god, that damage. Okay, I think this might end up being. And that's another back attack. Bolt 3. Almost dead. Oh, and dead. Okay. Yeah, this just goes to show how brutally unbalanced the final dungeon in this game is compared to everything else. Oh, and that's a death, another death, and is that another death? Nope, not quite. Oh, oh wait, you can t you can even target a dead party member with a heal spell. Just to just to waste your MP even more. Okay, they, these things have like no physical attack. 2000 and he's dead. Yep. <laughs> this is going to be a white wipe. And they are dead. Well, so that is what the final dungeon is like in Final Fantasy 3. This is why this game is somewhat notorious. These are just the basic enemies and they are absolutely wiping the floor with my party. The bosses are just that much worse and there's it's like 10 floors to this thing and there is no convenient uh, hotel Every time I want to go back to a hotel, I have to go through a dungeon to get to it. I don't have access to uh, cottages or tents easily, or I don't remember where they are in the shops. So yes, you gotta love the old game design in this, which is absolutely brutal. So, in fairness, I had forgotten how bad the random encounters were in the dungeon. I knew full well that there was a good chance that I wouldn't be able to beat the uh, Cloud of Darkness. I just wasn't expecting to die to floor two of the dungeon. But this will be the end of the Final Fantasy III run. <laughs> I, am, I am not going to waste my time grinding my levels just to beat the tower. I, I could, but... I have better things to do, like work on uh, tutorials for the Final Fantasy XII randomizer. So, until next time, uh, next time I will hopefully be doing the Final Fantasy IV run, or it will be the Final Fantasy XII open world randomizer tutorials next. Whichever one is the one that winds up getting uploaded first. But until next time, I uh, hope you guys are having a better day than me. Type this out.